in regards to blockchain technology, the problem we had was when we created computers and the internet, computer scientists and other people wanted to figure out how to create a digital currency. So we've been trying to create a digital currency since actually the 80s. <laughs> the main problem with the whole thing is what we call the double spin problem. So we're talking about computer code and what can you do with computer code? What did, what did Bill Gates do with, with Microsoft Word mm. as a, as a computer generate as a coded based application. He duplicated it. So quadrillion million people could buy it from him and use it on their computers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically he's just copy and paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. So the problem with the double spin that we have in, in this world of computers and code is that what's going to keep me from copying this 25 cents worth of code and buying a piece of candy from this retailer and then taking that same code and going over here mm. and spending that same 25 cents for a piece of candy at this other retailer. So which one has the real 25 cents of value mm. that they can then pay their bills with? Right. So that's the problem we've had since the internet was created and they, and people started working on this digital currency. Um, uh, until 2008, we had no solution. Uh, so right along with the financial blow up and everything like that, I really didn't have anything to do with that, but the timing was very, very good. Uh, a group of people or an individual with the pseudonym of Satoshi Nakamoto, uh, wrote a white paper and published it on the internet, uh, in 2008. And it explained how we build this technology that will technically eliminate, eliminate the double spin problem. And this paper was the Bitcoin white paper. Mm -hmm. And so if you think about it, so there's two aspects to this thing called Bitcoin. One is the Bitcoin cryptocurrency itself. And then the other that is really more innovative is the Bitcoin technology, blockchain technology. And, the, and basically what blockchain technology is, is, it's uh, you're familiar with a ledger, yeah. right? So you go look at your checkbook, you got credits and debits, right? So uh, the blockchain is basically a ledger. We call it a distributed ledger to where every transaction is, is accounted for. And then in distributed means it gets put on thousands of computers around the world. Hmm. And the reason it protects the double spin problem is, uh, or prevents it is if I do a transaction, it gets processed and put into this distributed ledger. And then a copy of it goes to 1000 computers. Mm -hmm. If I try to redo that same transaction, this 25 cents for that piece of candy, then the, am I, I might be able to do it on one ledger, but when it gets distributed to all the others, they're going to reject it because it's a duplication. So they're like, you've already spent so that. So now the okay. network is not going to say, okay, we agree with this transaction. Mm -hmm. And that's how we prevent this double spin problem, problem that we have with previously with digital currency. Um, the cool thing is, is this blockchain technology that Satoshi Nakamoto invented can be used for millions of use cases, mm -hmm. including protecting your identity, which is what our company is doing with this digital wallet called Thrivus. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it as much as we did. Please subscribe, please like, comment, share, anything that helps uh, tell our story and tell the founders and entrepreneur stories.